Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is mathematics. In this video, we want to look at this question. It's from 2023 GCE paper 2. This was question 6b. The question says the equation of a curve is y is equal to x to the power 3 minus 27x. So this is the equation of the curve. Now the question is find the coordinates, okay? Find the coordinates of the turning points of the curve. Three marks, okay? Now, this question is actually from calculus, application of calculus. You need to understand that, okay? We have a curve here, which is y is equal to x to the power 3 minus 27x. This is the curve. Okay? So if we are to put it in a diagram form, since it is a curve, we can say, okay, we can sketch it in this manner. Then we can say, okay, this curve will be like this. Okay? That will be the nature of the curve. We just sketch it in that way. That to be like that. Now the question is demanding us to find the coordinates of the turning point. Meaning, what will be the coordinates of this point and this point? That is the turning point. Okay? That is the turning point of the curve. How do you get these two? The first thing that you are going to do is to differentiate the curve, the equation that has been given. So you are going to find dy dx for this curve. So now we are going to say, since y is equal to x to the power 3 minus 27x, our dy dx will be equal to, when we differentiate x to the power 3, we are going to have 3x squared, okay, 3x squared. Minus, when we differentiate uh, 27x, we are going to get 27. I'm sure by now you know how to differentiate. Meaning, uh, the 3 will drop. Uh, take away 1, it will remain a 2 here. Then this one has a 2. 1, uh, it has a 1. 1 times 27 is 27. Then this x minus 1, 1 minus 1, will give us a 0. That's the reason why you are not seeing it there. So this is our dy dx. Now you need to know that dy dx at the turning point is always equal to zero. dy dx at the turning point is equal to zero. So you are going to equate this uh, dy dx that we have calculated, which is 3x squared minus 27, 27 here, to be equated to zero because dy dx at the turning point is equal to zero. Next thing we are going to do will be 3x, okay, 3x squared will be equal to, this negative 27 will cross the equal sign, and it will be 27. I see that. What next? To find the value of x here, we are going to say 3x squared is equal to 27, we divide by 3, we also divide by 3 here, cancel this. x squared will be equal to 3 into 27 will be 9. To get the value of x, we have to introduce the square root here, square root here, cancel this. Then x will be equal to positive negative 3. Square root of um, 9 will produce two answers, positive or negative, what if? 3. So now we have the value of x. We need to find the value of y. So in short, what we have calculated here is the positive 3 will be this one here. So the positive 3 is here. Then on the other side here, we have the negative 3. But what will be the value of y? You are going to substitute these answers in the original equation. In the original equation. So that you find the value of y. So you can say now, y is equal to x to the power 3 minus 27x. 
So we are going to say when x is equal to 3, we get the positive value first before the negative value. So we are going to say, okay, y will be equal to, we substitute 3 here, which will be 3 to the power 3 minus 27, here 3. I see that? Then our y will be equal to, this will give us 27, okay, minus, we can multiply uh, what we have there, which is uh, 27 multiplied by 3. That must be 81. 27 multiplied by 3, 81 here. Okay, then our y will be equal to 27 take away that we are going to get negative 54. So that is the first value there. Okay, again we do the same in this original equation. Substitute now negative what? Negative 3. So we are going to say y is equal to x to the power 3 minus 27x when e x is equal to negative 3. What value are we going to get? We're going to say y is equal to, where there is x now? We put negative 3. So negative 3 here to the power 3 minus 27, negative 3, like that. Okay? What will be the value of y? It will be y is equal to, this will give us uh, um, negative 27, okay? Then negative, negative, it will be positive, 81. And when we take away that, uh, we are going to get uh, 54. So this will give us 54. Are you seeing that? It will give us 54 positive. Now you can say, therefore, you can simply say, therefore, the turning points. One will be, you get the positive one, comma. So when we substituted the positive, we got negative 54. So, negative 54. Alright? And the other one will be, uh, we get the negative value, negative 3 here. So, negative 3, comma, when we substituted negative 3, we got 54. So, 54. So, these are the values of the turning point. These are the coordinates of the turning point. That is what you need to know. In short... Whenever you are given a curve and you are asked to find the coordinates of the turning point, you differentiate the curve first. After you differentiate the curve, equate to zero. When you equate to zero, you are going to find the values of U, x. After finding the values of x, you substitute in the original, not the one that you have differentiated, in the original to find the values of U, y. Then you are done with the turning point. I hope this is clear. Bye-bye.